Hey, hey, thanks so much for watching, listening. Totally, totally stoked that you are here. And here's a magnificent joke dripping with sarcasm, she says. <laughs> why, why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? And you're like, what? Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. <laughs> <laughs> Bad joke. Oh my Super gosh, that was so stupid, right? But even better than the joke, because it can only go up from there. My friend Jennifer Ives, thank you so much for hey, hanging Sarah. out. Good to come back. Totally stoked that you are here. Yeah. And um, not everybody knows you, but I want to ask a couple questions because you're pastor in California. Yes. Northern California. Uh, we're in Central. Central, yep. Uh -huh. And uh, beach, beaches. Well, uh, there's a bit of everything about 90 minutes away. You can get anything. You can get the mountains and snow. You can ski. Mm -hmm. You can go to the beach. Mm -hmm. You can go surf. You can do pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. So. And what's your first preference? Uh, definitely the beach, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And what do you enjoy beach-wise? I like just to hang out on the beach. I like to surf. I like to hang out with my family on the beach. It's all good. How long have you been surfing? Uh, I picked it back up about six years ago, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of those childhood things. And then I'm like, I want to pick it back up. I'm not that great, but I've surfed in great places. So, Like where? <laughs> I've surfed in Australia. No way. <laughs> yeah, I have. What part? Uh, east side over in uh, Sydney side. Ooh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. What are the waves like there? In uh, the current, uh, everything is bigger and stronger over there. Hmm. So interesting. Yeah. Warm water, uh, California's cold water, you know, so you, you know, it's just different. Did you take like a couple days in surfing? In I, yeah, I have. Uh, I still, like I said, I'm not great at it, but I do love it. It's just one of those things that I enjoy just getting out there and, and smashing wave. And I love it. <laughs> So if you if you uh, could tell somebody like some fundamentals, some ABCs, just one a couple key things for surfing, I would say um, strengthen your core because it's all core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you get this kind of intuitive feel uh, of how the water is and how the waves are going to go. And then I like it when there's enough uh, buoyancy in the water because it keeps you up without you having to try. Mm -hmm. So, how do you try? How do you try to keep above? The water. Well, sometimes, you know, you, I mean, the water doesn't, doesn't serve you well and you kind of sink in huh. and it's just, you know, interesting. Uh, yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, that's my, there's people who could tell you much more than me. That's me just picking it back up as a novice, getting back into it. And those yeah. are the things I would say. Is it hard to get up on the board? Not always. It depends to me. It depends on the buoyancy of the water. Huh. So. And it, does the buoyancy, does it depend on the season? Does it depend on the day? Yeah. <laughs> huh. So, I never thought of that. Yeah. Well, just, you know, kind of a, that's one of my bucket lists. Yeah, do it. Is learning to surf. Yeah. I, I, you're, you're athletic, so mm. you would probably give yourself a day or two, just work on it for a little bit, and you'll get up. I think a lot of people, they just want to get up. Yeah. You know, and I'm not interested in the big pounding waves. I'm interested in getting up and just enjoying it. Yeah. And just, you know, it's like a video game when, you know, when you finally get it, that's, that's uh -huh. what I like. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's cool. Not like riding in the pipe. And no, the no, no, no. That's, that not, that's for the, the pros, not uh -huh. for me. <laughs> so you surfed in California, surfed in Australia, yeah. anywhere else? I'm, I'm yeah. In Florida. Really? No, wait, wait, wait. No, no. I'm. There is another place. I'm forgetting it. I travel all over. Where is it? Okay, scratch all of that because I can't remember. <laughs> so, <laughs> can you surf? So can you surf like in Brazil? Is there any surfing there? I haven't been there. I know there's surfing in South Africa in Durban. Okay. Because I've checked this out. Okay. Can you surf in Perth on the west side of Australia? No, you can't. No. No. Not good waves. Well, where have I where I have been? Yeah. Uh, it's just flat water. I, there probably is some oh. places, but I haven't I haven't been anywhere. Yeah. On that side. Yeah. It's mostly on the Sydney side. Mm. So. Well, Durban need to kind of put that in your little really note to self. Okay. Yeah. I hear it's really great there. I'm cracking up because we're talking about this like I'm a pro, and I'm like I'm not a pro, but I do <laughs> love it. <laughs> so. Well, you're more pro than me because I've never even tried it. All right. And I, I love swimming. Yeah. I think swimming is fantastic. Yeah. Okay. I took up snowboarding uh -huh. in the hopes of like kind of the precursor to uh -huh. surfing. So at some point in my life, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to take some lessons. Yeah. Oh, I, I surfed in Byron Bay. 
that's kind of like a, a, oh, like a yeah, little yeah. paradise. That's yep. what it is. I was thinking Florida. No, it's not Florida. It was Byron Bay. And um, uh, I, I was terrible there. Absolutely terrible. But I, I was there. <laughs> Byron, that's in Australia. That's in Australia, but it's up, up, up north. north. It's kind of like a, like a surfer's paradise. Mm -hmm. So, Ooh, yeah. very cool. Yeah. There's a cool church up there, too. Is there? Yeah. Okay. There's a chick that wrote a song. She's the pastor's kid there, and she wrote this song about loving Jesus, and it always stuck with me. Aww. And I'm like, ooh, yeah. Byron Bay, that's that one chick. Yeah. So that's cool. That's very cool. And yeah. you're going on vacation pretty soon with your I family? I am going to San Diego, and we are going to take a long one. Mm -hmm. We need it. Good. Uh, we didn't. We didn't get our winter vacation like normal, and yep. you know we're we're at the place these days where it takes us a while to wind down. So I'm like, we're going to go extra uh -huh. long. Uh huh. And so just kind of reset. Yeah. So <laughs> how do you do? What what helps you to reset? Um, uh, basically forcing myself to take big breaks. I used to just try to do it in two or three days, mm -hmm. two or three days. I can't relax. Yeah. I can't unwind. And then you're winding back up and you know how ministry never stops. Yep. It never stops. There's always something, mm -hmm. you know, you have to really force the issue. Our kids are at a good age where we can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to recover from the vacation. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I do. I totally <laughs> do. Yeah, I need a vacation for the vacation. Yeah. That's a quote I've said more than once. Yeah. <laughs> Completely yeah. true. So when you vac vac vacation, do vacation, do you vacate, like unplug from everything? Uh, I wish I could. I'm not wired that way, yep. but I actually, I do wind down mm -hmm. and I do fun things mm -hmm. and I like to stay in motion. Um, but I like to stay in motion doing fun things mm -hmm. rather than just on my computer and, mm -hmm. you know, nailing down the next conference, mm -hmm. the next, the next conquest, mm -hmm. you know, taking over the world, you know, mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. Do you ever try, it was it, it's like parasailing, but it's, you put on like, something on your feet, like, okay. like a surfboard small, and uh -huh. then you strap a harness onto your torso and you sail and you do it on the waves. I, I have not done that. There's some things I want to try. Yeah. You know, that I, I've seen some things along that line that I want to try. Um, you know, but I just have to have the space to do it. Yeah. So. Imperial beach. I okay. saw a dude doing that okay. on Imperial beach uh -huh. and I was big eyes. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, I think that takes major core as well as upper body strength yeah. because of the wind. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. But that's something. Well, you know, that, that might be something to do. I've been working on my core and upper body. So nice. I'll do it. You keep me posted <laughs> if you go after that. Okay, all right, I will. Well, that's cool. So where have you been traveling lately? Well, um, just in the in the Australia, uh, I've been going back in to there, and I, I've got like, I'm going to be there in November. Um, I'm going to be there in June, November, and then February. So that has been picking up. That's something the Lord started steering me toward yep. a while ago. And we're getting this momentum out there. Um, I'm starting to take aim for New Zealand on the ground floor, just starting. Mm. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, and then I travel in the U.S. Yep. Um, I haven't gone to any Asian countries for a while. Mm -hmm. I was doing that for a while. It yep. seemed like that, that kind of uh, tapered off and... Picked mm -hmm. up in Australia, and uh, we'll see what happens in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Time change, man. Those are big time changes. I can do it, though. Once you've done it, you know, I think it's better than Europe. Yeah, that eight hours is tricky. It's a weird one. Uh-huh. But 14 and 16, that gets... I've learned it. I've yeah, learned it. You can do it. I can do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the 12, 12, 13. Do you? I do. Okay. So that's Where would like, that be? Uh, India, Cambodia, yeah. Thailand, okay. all of that. that so it's space. like a straight half day. Mm-hmm. So it's just flipped. Ah. And uh, I really, so what do you do to help you switch time zones? As long as I can um, get like a block of sleep mm -hmm. on the airplane, mm -hmm. I've I've literally done that, you know, because I've learned how to sleep on, on the flight sure. that long. Uh, done that, got out of the flight, um, went to my hotel and then preached that night. Mm -hmm. So I'm still on adrenaline and, you know, mm -hmm. I, I've just learned it. Uh -huh. I've yeah. done that. I'm like, mm. Yeah. Don't really want to keep doing I, I don't that. think I can do that in Europe. I can't yeah. I can't do that time oh, change. Oh yeah. That's rough. That one I'm just like, uh -huh. I don't even know what, where I'm uh -huh. at. <laughs> so when you get back home, what helps you shift back to California time? I seem to just adjust. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe it's the grace. Because mm -hmm. I feel like the Lord called me out there. Mm -hmm. So maybe just gave me a grace for it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But mm -hmm. so far I'm doing it well. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. One of the things that helps me is taking a walk in the in the afternoon. 
Really? Get outside, take a walk. Huh, just 30 get some minutes. sunshine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think the sunshine, they say something about circadian rhythm, something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever knocked that out before. I've oh. you know, really knocked it out where I felt it. I'm like, my rhythm is off. Mm -hmm. You know, it took mm -hmm. me a little while to get reset. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that. It's yeah. inconvenient. <laughs> Not helpful. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, <laughs> listening, subscribing. Of course, hit the notification bell right there. Uh, keep you posted when we get new content. And here is a question for you. If you could pick up any hobby, what hobby would you like to pick up? Right? Think about that. Any, you're like, well, only one? Yeah. Pick one. So thanks again, and we will catch you next week. Thanks.